Hey guys and welcome to another video. I'm again with Dawnrim. Good morning. Yeah, and this well, time this hopefully... Uh, sorry, say again. No, go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, this time hopefully we both have audio because in the last, last video it was pretty hilarious. Um, as I had no audio on my side and also Dawnrim didn't have, have uh, his audio on, on, on his side. So in my video you could hear Dawnrim and in his video you could hear me but you but you could not hear um, ourselves in the videos and that is because uh, OBS made an update in the background and uh, OBS changed the microphone settings of a microphone source. Uh, that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Blame so, OBS. Say again? Blame OBS. Yeah, it's this goddamn OBS. Yeah, and uh, anyways, we're about to make a small tournament, a best out of five. And uh, it will be pretty funny because for this one, uh, we thought of something pretty hilarious, which is uh, that we basically choose the sieves for our opponent. And then our opponent has to pick uh, six sieves. So basically, we are choosing eight sieves for our opponent. And then our opponent picks six of those. And... Um, yeah, Donrim wanted us to have 8. I actually said at first uh, 7, but he wanted to have 8. So that even in the last game, in the fifth game, there is still some kind of mind game involved in what Sif will the opponent pick or will, will, we, will the opponent not pick. And yeah, it sounded pretty fun. And uh, yeah, so there we are. Um, is there anything you want to add before we start choosing the Sifs? Or... Only that I'm starting to regret having said eight because I've looked through the list of sieves and there really aren't that many bad sieves. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling to find eight, or I guess sixteen. I have to find sixteen because you're also picking. Ah, okay. We, we cannot double pick. We, we can. We cannot we pick a sieve, a sieve twice. Like uh, I pick one and you pick one. You have to pick uh, different sieves all the time. Exactly. So I have to pick sixteen ah, okay. bad sieves because you're gonna pick. You might pick mine, right? So I have to have another one ready. Yep. And I struggle to find 16 bad sips. Yep. But we'll see how it goes. The thing is, we want to play on Arabia, Arena, uh, Nomad, Islands, and what did I forget? Black Forest. So basically, we play on five maps that are heavily different from each other. And I think um, there are some sips that are maybe not great, like Sicilians. They might not, might not be the greatest sieve. But at least on Black Forest, we are pretty decent. So I think every Sif is at least good on one map. So there aren't really any bad Sifs. I think the, the meanest thing that you could probably do is like uh, give the opponent 8 Sifs that basically do the same. Like giving the opponent 8 Archer Sifs or giving the opponent like um, 8 Naval Sifs, stuff like that. Um, I, th I think that's probably the meanest that you can do. Because if you look at it, like Armenians are really not the greatest Sith on Arabia, they're not the greatest Sith on Arena maybe, they're not the greatest Sith on Black Forest. But if you have Nomad or Island involved, you know, I, I, think, yeah. I think if you think about all the maps that we are playing, um, there is really no Sith that is really completely bad. Like it doesn't have any any purpose or any any um, field where it can thrive on. Okay. No, those days are gone. I guess that's a good thing for the game. But yeah. uh, bad thing for us right now. Okay, uh, who's starting? I would click on ready and pick some sips for you. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I have. Yeah. Just to explain the format, uh, just so you're prepared. I don't know if you yep. looked at. You can look at the top right to see how we pick. So you start as the guest, and okay. then since you start, which is an advantage, I get two, and mm -hmm. then you get one. So that's kind of the first block there. Okay. And then we do another block of four where I start, you yep. pick two. And then we would just repeat, and then the snipes. I hope this is the way I intended to be. Mm -hmm. um, it is snipe as opponent, so I assume that means snipe your own sieves. Let's hope that works. Otherwise, we'll just have to wing it. Yep. Good. Let's go then. All right. So you're first up. Yep. I'll click ready. Yep. Have 20 seconds to. I'm not completely sure which one to pick, uh, pick first. 
pick this one. Okay, interesting. And then I think, as you mentioned, I think I'll give you this one. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting because Hans is one of the sips I don't really like to play. That's kind of a good guess from you. Uh, did you have a look at my videos? Because I had a look at your videos and your AOE insights profile. And uh, I've seen, for instance, that you're pretty good with the Tutans, so I won't pick the Tutans, definitely. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I have a pretty good record with Tutans. Probably mostly because of uh, because of um, Arena. I, think yeah. I like them. Man. Let's see. This is one I'm not sure about, mm. but let's go with this one. Okay. I think they're pretty good, but uh, I, I've kind of run out of bad sips already. Uh, oh, I have to pick a second one. Uh, sorry, I was a little bit. I'm still a little bit uh, drowsy. Yeah, it's a double one for you. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe you'll be quite happy with this one, but uh, we'll try this. Bulgarians was, in fact, uh, one of my favorite picks in the last tournament. Let's see if they can lead me again to victory. So... <sighs> Do I give you this one? That one was on my list as well. <laughs> yeah, they're not too bad, especially on like Nomad or Island maps. No, I, I meant on my list to give to you. Ah, okay. But, um, but they're all right. That's, I'm not crying over it. I mean, they're only objectively bad sifts if you go like a low elo legend, like uh, a low elo level, like 700 elo the chinese are really bad but competitively we are one of the best sifs if you look at high elo so i think at like 1200 elo there aren't really any any bad sifs you can play pretty much anything yeah um okay he doesn't want to give me a water map uh, a water sif which is interesting um, what do I give to you now? Okay, maybe boss. interesting that you gave me the Mongols because they're considered to be one of the strongest sifts in the game. I actually didn't. <laughs> As you I, see, I, there's a there's a, like a die, so I it randomed onto them because I was too slow. Ah, okay. But that's my mistake. Yeah. Oh, Italians, no. interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's actually okay. No, 
last one. Okay. I think we're doing this. Okay, humans, interesting. Yeah, decide on a snipe in your bomb spice. Yeah, so now I get rid of some. No. Yeah, I get rid of my own. Right. No, uh, one sec. Everyone is choosing now what we want to play. So actually, uh, everyone can, can, can select for themselves now what, what to be sniped. I think we can just do this with Aurelie. Well, this doesn't make any sense though. Yeah, I was worried about this, that this wouldn't work right. Or did you snipe something now? No, it was me, right? Because this is opposite. Yeah, I'm I, th I think my... we can just just uh, do this already now, which which shifts we want to pick or which, which we don't want to pick. Okay, so there are two that I will not play. Uh, let me quickly go through which I will play. I think I will play Bulgarians. I will play Italians for sure. Um, I will play the Franks. I will play the Mongols. So I have Tatars, Sicilians and Hans left. And I will pick the Tatars. So I will not play Sicilians and Hans. The first two that you've given to me. Makes sense. Okay, uh, which ones will you play? Uh, I think I will keep Berbers. Okay. Uh, I will keep Vietnamese. A Burmese, so I'll have to think about a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I will need Bengalis. Okay. Actually, don't think I'll play Aztecs. Okay, so you snipe Bengalis and Aztecs. Um, no, I think I'll, I'll have to keep Bengalis. Okay. Uh, but I'm snip sniping Aztecs. Okay. And I think Gujaras. Ah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think I would I'm probably have sniped yeah. like Gujara and maybe uh, Britons, because Britons are very one-dimensional. But I, I wouldn't have played True. Gujaras either, so it's interesting. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just talk strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's the point here. Um, I don't quite see what I'm using on Black Forests if I'm not using Britons. Uh, I would have selected uh, Aztecs on Black Forest, to be honest. Aztecs on Black Forest. And just go full aggro? Or do you want to take them into late game? Mm, I would have tried to do like uh, a push uh, with Siege Onager and then uh, Aztec Champion. Like uh, a one a one time push basically. Like put everything into one, one attack. Yeah. Like, that would have been my strategy. But then again, Aztecs would probably be even better on Arena. But the, the thing is, uh, Aztecs got nerfed quite a bit. And. We didn't really get get anything thing back or get get much back. I I mean, we used to have a better bonus, but we're collecting more more things. And um, I mean, I can understand nerfing the Aztecs like ten years ago, but now having like Burgundians and Bohemians uh, for arena. Um, I mean, there, there are simply uh, sylphs that are better on this map than Aztecs. So uh, 
if you ask me, Aztecs have been a little bit over over nerfed. I mean, they've been one of the strongest civs in the game, but now the win rate is like, I think, 47, 48%, something like that. They are yeah. pretty bad by win rate if you look at that. Yeah, and I think they lose to the other meso civs generally mm. as well, unless they get some. I guess their eagle spam is still maybe the strongest, like early castle, yeah. because they can produce so fast. But other than that, if it goes late, I think both mines and Incas do pretty well. Now the big problem with Aztecs is that you're relatively reliant on, on gold. I mean, you have pretty great skirms, but basically the Aztec push is like monks and siege, and once you don't have any gold, Aztecs are not that, are not that great anymore. Yeah. yeah. I think of the three mesos that we currently have, like Inca, Mayans, Aztecs, I think the Aztecs are probably the worst uh, if you look overall performance on maps. Yeah. Yeah. All right, interesting, interesting. I think I can work with this. So, yeah, me, me too. Franks, too Franks, Mongols, Bulgarians, Tatars, Cumans, Italians. I think that's pretty decent. Yeah. I, I mean, I might have picked Bulgarians again, and I pretty likely would have picked Italians for myself. So there are these two sifts already in there, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little surprised you gave me Malians. You are not, or you're, you are a little surprised? I, I am, but a little bit surprised. Yeah, I think they're very good. Mm. I think they're one of the three best Nomad sifts. Yeah, on, on Nomad they're great, that's, that's true, of course. But I guess, like I said, it's hard to find bad sifts. So. Well, the thing is, the Malians are also pretty reliant on gold, so don't have, have a lot of gold to mine. I mean, we, we have pretty bad trash, except for the for Violet Cavalry with the Rimba attack. So... I know they can be um, pretty decent on, on Nomad, but I would actually prefer other sifts on Nomad, like Dravidians, Italians, um, what's also good, Persians is pretty good, uh, Japanese is pretty good. Like, we can we can definitely be played, but I would still prefer other sifts on that map. Yeah, I, I don't know, in Definitive Edition we are uh, pretty good at this point, because we got some buffs with a, with a gold income and so on. But in HD version, they used to be pretty bad, actually. I think in HD version, they were one of the worst sifts in the game. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, maybe. I think also the smoother, generally smoother micro these days give uh, uh, Gebettos place in the game that they yeah. really didn't have before. And they've been buffed as well, I believe, more range. Uh, no, I don't think we have more range, we just have a little bit more health points, I think 5 or, or 10 in the ah, yeah, elite yeah. version, something like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, good, but it's true, Gebeto can be pretty annoying, but then again, they're also pretty weak to archers, so I'm not too afraid of Gebeto, I must say. I think if, if I'd given like, like Persians to you on Nomad, or like Chinese Dravidians, which are top tier in my opinion, I think that would have been more dangerous. But now that you say, yeah. okay, yeah, we are good on Nomad. But I think on all the other maps, like, okay, Arena were decent. Black Forest were still kind of decent. Arabia were okay. I mean, on, on the other maps, they're just okay. They're not, they're not top tier. Can, but as, as I said to you, we are playing five maps. So basically, there is no bad Civ because every Civ can do at least something good. And. You just have to see how to how to put your team together and what to play and what not to play. Oh. <coughs> True. Sorry, I have, I have a bit of a hoarse voice today. Um, so what, what would have been uh, worse for you in your opinion? Would you have picked... Um, what could I have given you? Like another Mesosif, like Mayans or Inca? I, I know some, some people don't like to play Mesosifs. Or do you think that Goths would have been worse or uh, Armenians? Um. <coughs> I think uh, Armenians would have been a bad choice for you. I really like the Armenians on water. Yeah. 
uh, I think the double arrow um, galley makes you pretty much immune against fire ships, mm -hmm. and you also win against most other galleys. I think they're really strong. Yep. Um, also, Meso, I'm um, kind of a fan of Meso, especially mines. If you'd given me mines, I would have drooled. I think they're maybe the best sieve in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, their resource lasting longer is just overpowered. Yeah. Um, goths, I think it's a good choice for you. Um, goths, you want to take them late game, and they're not really that great until late game, and I suck at late game. Okay. Actually, the game I just played was uh, Goths against Mongols. And I outplayed the Mongols in Feudalage yeah. with the Goths. But then I lost the game. Yeah. Because I couldn't handle late game. So, yeah. That's my player profile. Anything else? Uh, if you'd pick Turks for me. Yeah. Would it, of course, have been in on paper an insane pick for you? Um, but I, then I would probably have tried a fast imp on arena and screwed it up. So yeah. I don't really know how to do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but you see, it's are... an insane pick on paper uh, because they're pretty much the best arenas, if. Yeah. and you can do crazy things with them. You don't even have to go fast imp, right? You can. You can play with Janissaries in Castle H and push, mm -hmm. or you can just play standard with free light cab, get all the relics. I think I think they're the best arena mm -hmm. But in my case, I think you already gave me relatively bad sieves. Um, good job would have been pretty bad. I, the funny thing is, I think I've only won with good jars like one time. And the funny thing is also, I'm not only winning uh, uh, very scarcely with good Jara, but I also lost very scarcely to good Jara. So I think I've lost to good Jara like one or two times. But I'm usually always winning versus good Jara. So when there's good Jara in the game, the good Jara player is uh, usually using. Uh, if it's me or the other, the other guy. Um, but Gojawa was my first pick, so um, yeah, Gojawa would have been pretty bad. You couldn't pick it for me because I already picked it. Yeah. Uh, what would also have been bad? Um, Khmer could have been kind of bad, but then again, we have a very interesting, we have very interesting build order possibilities because we just don't need the buildings. The Sicilians yeah. already, already gave to me. Uh, Hans uh, was a good guess of yours because I don't really like to play them. Um, I, I mean, they can be fast and, and you can do some fuel uh, age aggression and scouts and so on. But uh, like, like if you look at it late game, like Magias are just the better version of Hans, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, what else? Let me have a look. Um, the task was a pretty decent guess. I mean, they're not terrible. But definitely below average, uh, if, if I play them at least. It's on my arsenal. Uh, you could have given me Turks because I am um, really bad with pulling out, uh, with, with pulling off uh, the fast imp strategies. And I think uh, if you don't use the timings of Turks because you get chemistry for free and you're not able to make use of the timings and being like two minutes faster, I think like long term. Turks are just the worst bo Bohemians, basically. Like, if you can't make use of a timing and you're slow, I think Bohemians are probably just a better choice for you on Arena. And with the Turks, yeah. basically, you have to know this, this fast, uh, fast in build order to be good. And also know how to defend if you get castle dropped uh, while you try to do fast imp. I mean, it's as you said, you can also do castle drop and do Janissaries uh, on Arena. That's also possible. But we are really not too good too good. Although I must say we also have a relatively decent naval tech tree. I think we have everything except for siege engineers for the cannon ships. So I could have played them on island islands as well, and we also get gold faster. Um mm. how much is it? Like 15%, 20%, something like that? Uh yeah, I'm not sure about the number. I think it's 15. Yeah. 
So basically, if um, you're making yeah, fire ships, opening the fire ships for it's not too bad on islands. Right, and you, you get elite cannon for free, right? Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, no, thing. I don't. I don't think you get elite okay. cannon, uh, but you get chemistry, so you can make the cannons immediately in in Imperial Age. Which is normally the, the good argument for like Dwarfs, Suns, Armenians, and so on, and and uh, Romans, because we can immediately immediately make uh, Dromans. I think that's actually right. the best argument no, for Dromans, but you don't have to research chemistry. And the Turks, they are basically in there because we can make their cannon ships immediately without researching chemistry. I think right. chemistry yeah. takes like, yeah, no, like two, two and a half minutes to research. Like it's it's taking a lot of time. So having yeah, your ships two minutes earlier is sometimes can, can be can be uh, game deciding. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not for free. Yeah, you're right. Of course, but the gunpowder technology is fifty percent cheaper, so you just save a little money. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, but that's interesting here. Those are some interesting ships we've picked now. Um, I'm not super happy with it, but uh, from what I've heard from you, um, you are more happy with the sips that I gave to you than I'm with mine. But I think it's still very decent. Like, um, I have a friend on this channel, Duan Guard, and uh, we are recording a lot of videos together. And his favorite sip is the Mongols, also Erich, uh, who played with me like uh, yeah, about a month ago. Erich also said that Mongols are his favorite sip. So I think I have some. Pretty decent picks here. I think I can do something with that. And I think I even already have a strategy uh, on how, how to play with um, uh, play with with sieves. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today is Sounds Tuesday. Good. Today is Tuesday. Uh, you said that we can play the first game on Saturday, right? Yes. Uh, we can also play earlier if it's okay with you. You can just write me on Discord. Um, I would have to. Um, I, I just would have to know uh, before uh, bef before we plan this, but usually I should have time this week, so uh, if that's okay with you, you can just write me on Discord. And yep. the maps that we play will be in the order like in the last tournament, I would say. So first map will be um, Black Forest, then Arabia, then Arena, then Nomad, and then the last one is Islands. So in this order, if that's okay with you. Works for me. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, that having been said, everything has been said so far. Um, yeah, I hope it was interesting for you to see us uh, picking the sieves and have a little discussion about it. Um, yeah, I will also write the results again in the video description. So I will not play Sicilians and Tans, and you will not play Gujaras and Aztecs, right? Uh is correct yes yeah mm. okay just to, to nail this okay i will also write this in the video description and yeah the first game will probably be in five days from now on one four days from now on on saturday on the weekend and first map will be black forest so we can already prepare some strategies and think of which safe to pick there and yeah that having been said thanks for watching thanks for tuning in uh, if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up, and if there's anything that's on your mind, you can leave it in the comment section. Um, do you want to say any last words, Dawnrim, or can we finish this at this point? Uh, I'll just have to say uh, good luck with your preparation, yep. and uh, Same to you. I'll probably see you on Saturday. Yep, sounds good. Okay guys, thanks for your attention, and see you soon.